trap, welcome, welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap, welcome, welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap, welcome, welcome to the trap. Let's go. Zen, trap, zen, trap, zen, trap, zen, trap. Protect your peace, protect your energy. Take video, we live, baby. We bike. And we bike. Uh, but we setting some goals for the year. We kind of wanted to write down kind of what were some of our values, what were our goals for 2022, and then maybe even why we made those goals. So we can kind of do a, you know, a whole full circle of, you know, what we stand for, what we about to do, and why we doing it. Yeah, and we did goals in seven different categories, I think it was. Seven, yep. You want 907? Uh, first one was family. Second one was career. Third was spiritual, fourth was financial, fifth was social, six is physical, and seven was intellectual. We're trying to get at least one goal in each of those. And yesterday, the first thing we did was in each one of those, we kind of wrote what type of person uh, you kind of want to, you aspire to be or you're currently being, like what kind of traits, like how would you describe somebody uh, that embodies what family goals and stuff you're aspiring to go to. So before you even thinking about the goal, think about like what type of person you want to be in a year or that you already currently being and want to continue to be. Yeah. Like what kind of financially, how do you see yourself? If somebody was to describe you, they would describe, you know, or how, how would you want them to describe you in a financial space? I'm yeah. Like, so today we're just going to review kind of what we put down in our whys and each of those goals and kind of just talk about where we see ourselves in a year from now. So if we start with family, what did you put as far as like, or how, let's start with how did you describe yourself yesterday for like what type of family person you want to be uh, in want, a year or further out in life? Uh, I want to be a leader in my family. I want to be the glue of my family and I want to be a supportive family member. Mm. So those are my, that's how I want to be described in family. Uh, my goal for family um, is to plan a family photo, um, to take a family photo by December 31st, 2022. Um, and I'll, you know, pick location and all that stuff, but that'll be my first goal for my family. And uh, kind of why I did that is really because I want to strengthen my relationship with a lot of my extended family members. So I want to strengthen that relationship. Um, and I also want to create an environment where we share history and share with one another. These are people that I'm connected to by blood. Right. So, you know, let's just share that story and just bond with those people. What? Was that your only goal? Yeah, yeah. that was my only goal for family. Cool. Yeah. Uh, for family, for me, the type of person I put was I want people to be able to come to me and feel like an oasis of peace. I want to be a generational curse breaker, a historian of both sides of my family tree, and I want to restore family reunions. That's the type of person I want to be as well. So that's almost a goal within itself. But I want to be the person that like tries to at least, if not do it, then assist with making sure that the family reunions stay alive. So naturally, my goals in the family area was have agreed plan together with my father and my mother for both sides of my family reunions for 2023, but have the plan together by the end of 2022. So we want planned family reunions for 2023. So you're um, bringing, bringing both sides of your family to one family reunion? No. Or just separate no. ones? Okay, I got you. Separate. Separate. I don't think it would make sense to, <laughs> right. to even do that. I feel you. Okay. Okay. Uh, also, would like to have my nephews come visit me in Texas by July of 2022. So hopefully in June. How many nephews you got? I have three. Three. Uh, you kind of put me on the spot like that. Like, what if I was wrong? Like, it's kind of <laughs> I messy. hope you know. No, nah, I do know. I got, I got three. <laughs> technically four, um, if you count marriage. Nice. But when the marriage dissolves, is it still your nephew? Mm, it depends. Is it still your family? It depends on what? <laughs> Uh, it depends on if I like them. So I just want to hear you say it. Right, <laughs> it depends cool. on if I like them. That's for real. All right, cool. Oh, what we supposed to do as well, or supposed to be doing differently, what's your why for your goals? Each, I each already goal. said my why. Oh. I said to create and strengthen my family connections, and then I wanted to- uh, Dang, you ran through that. History. Yeah, I was I was on it. Why you do your goals? You just ran through that. All right. Uh, the why for me, uh, I put to- Break generational trauma and curses. Try to help heal some of that. To talk more, uh, to understand your family tree a little bit better. Okay. You know as much as we can. You know, being black and yeah. slavery. 
Um, Your history definitely gets lost at some point. The why for my nephew's goal, um, just for love and quality time, and nice. just really main thing to shift their perspective, man. man. Get hey. them out of North Carolina, so you, you need can to be a role model for something. Them. That's, that's, I, it's not about being a role model. That's true. It's more so again just about them. But seeing I remember being being that young. Like if I saw somebody that was like cool, I was like, oh, I want to be them. Well, I'm not downplaying the the need to be a strong role model. I okay. think it's also important because you can find role models anywhere you're at. In your local city, like, they can find yeah, somebody that's their sure. role model. Like, whether sure. it's good or bad, whether it's a good role yeah. model or a bad role model. Yeah. But as far as you seeing and getting exposed to different stuff, you get what I'm saying? Like, seeing yeah. that, oh, I've been outside of North Carolina. I've seen that it's yeah. other jobs, it's other stuff to it's do. Other, yeah, yeah. Versus when you just kind of stuck there, it's like, you know it's stuff outside of there because you see it on Instagram, TV right. and stuff. But you don't really know, and you still kind of really hesitant until you yeah. know. All right, let's let's get to career. Um, I I went first on family, right? What you got? What you got for career? Uh, for career, um, first of all, so the type of person I want to be in my career is a leader. I want to be passionate about whatever I'm doing. Uh, I want to be flexible. I like a very flexible schedule. I like for it to be fun. Um, I like to have a connection with people and I want to be the change I want to see in people. So like whatever I'm kind of asking of people, I want them to kind of see that in me. Uh, as far as the goals I set towards that, I want to be a mentor and have a mentor by April 2022. So I kind of had a mentor when I first got into the company, but I didn't use them that well. And that's again, because I just really didn't have a good idea of what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to get my experience together, but whether that's a mentor inside of the company, outside of the company, I just want a mentor who can help guide me with my career aspirations. And I also want to be a mentor to somebody else. I, I did a mentor program, but again, I want to be more focused in it and make sure I kind of keep it up. For sure. Uh, second goal is get July plan together for work. Um, and by July plan, I am trying to travel for the You're second to, half. You're going to. I am going to be traveling for the Come second on, half of 2022 from July to December, going to a different country each month to work remotely. Um, so I would like to have my plan together for how I'm going to do that and the different options and stuff by March 2022. If I start with the why for the first goal is really to make sure that I'm giving back my knowledge to somebody else who can kind of benefit from it and making sure that Everybody benefits from a mentor. Talking to somebody who's where you want to be just always helps. Um, the why for the second one about traveling, it just feels like a perfect time for it. I'm feeling real stuck. I got a real big travel bug on me. The uh, situation of the country itself is perfectly set up for this. So I just really don't have a reason not to, honestly. No kids. Come on. No. Come on now. Nothing preaching, tying brother. me down. You're preaching, brother. Why, why not? Why, why not? Is the all is the better? Why, why not? not? Why not? Why not? That's true. All right, cool. Uh, for career is I want to create a clear plan and flow chart of my career for the next three years by the end of 2022, and I want to review that with my my management team uh, to basically set a goal of letting them know what I got going and where I'm headed, um, and then. Let's see. I also want to be more active in our social justice space, um, my social innovation department in my my job, uh, just because one, that's I'm passionate about that right. that topic, um, and I kind of want to be the change I want to see. So I want to jump in there, and then the other thing is just um, maybe in a career move, potential career move later in my life uh, to move in that area. So I want to build some connections there, and you know, tighten up there. So those are kind of my goals and why. You 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 be running through that. Yeah. All right. So next is spiritual. I think you're supposed to take us through that big dollar. Oh, big I am. Cat. Cool. Uh, so who I want to be spiritually. Um, I want to be a balanced person. Um, I want to have a working relationship with God uh, to where, you know, I can. That's my sounding board. And I want to be in alignment spiritually. Um, What's that mean to you, being in alignment spiritually? Being in alignment just kind of, to me, means that, to me, my spiritual leads everything. And so if my spiritual isn't aligned, my physical ain't going to be always be aligned, my career ain't going to be aligned. So uh, it's an overarching goal 
uh, spiritual is over all of this for me. Mm-hmm. And so just alignment with all of those things, right? A person who is financially savvy is also socially savvy, who is also physically savvy. Like, you got to get in alignment and be the person that you want to be. But to me, that's all, the overarching, that's in spiritual. Okay. Yeah. And balance kind of, some people may think that's the same, but to me, that's just making sure that I'm balancing um, my faith as well as my belief in myself. Um, I control my destiny to some degree, but also faith is the root of everything. So that's, you know, that's a big part of, you know, my walk in life is is God. So, gotcha. um, mm-hmm. so some of my goals spiritually, I want to prioritize my relationship with God by praying first. It's the first thing I do with my feet hit the floor. Um, and so that I think why I want to do that is that's going to strengthen my connection with God allow me a space and time to hear from him uh, when he's he's speaking to me. I continue to make myself comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, and why I want to do this is to push myself um, and to unlock and unleash my full f- or fulfill my full potential. So pushing myself to be uncomfortable, um, that'll be explained in some of my other reasons on how I'll be pushing myself to be uncomfortable. All right. Spiritual for me, type of person I think of that I want to be uh, spiritually strong faith. I think I have that now, so that's something I still want to continue to work on um, and just uh, embody. I want to have a spiritual community, so whether that is a church family, web church family, in person, whatever, I just would like a spiritual They should. Home. They should make like an app for like a church home, like can you sure swipe left that. and right. They got an app for it for church for church not for church people but like for a church like do I want to go to don't have that All no, no, no 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 <laughs> they don't have like a dating app though like you can Christian go Christian mingle what are you talking about nah man listen bro I want to be able to go on an app and decide if I want to attend this church the church's profile is what I'm reviewing they don't get to swipe on me you either. want a Yelp review of churches. I want to be able to swipe left and right. But, yeah, sure, Yelp review. Like, oh, this church got a dance program, and they got a computer lab for the kids, and they do children's church and Sunday school. Oh, this church, they, don't got, they got a gym. Oh, they got something else. Like, we able to go through. You want to know the amenities of your church place? <laughs> yeah, but it also may be, like, they do, like, you know, you may have reviews on there from other people. Like, oh, they break praise service is crazy. Praise and worship is hitting. You definitely should come here for praise and worship versus all oh, the pastor preaching is nasty. He cold with it. Every Sunday be something good. You, want, versus wait, the you also want to see like the bad reviews. Like, this pastor trash. <laughs> Don't come here. This pastor long winded as shit. Well, some people may be looking for that. Like I need a two hour word versus somebody like, hey, he's going to be 20 minutes. I might be like 20 minutes too short. I need something that's 45. Honestly, you don't think you can get that from the Google reviews of a church? Like, have you ever done that? Have I ever looked at Google reviews? <laughs> that no. sounds like the same thing. To Heaven, me. no. <laughs> All right, so look, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints got a four point seven review. All right, what's I feel that? the spirit of the Lord when I come to church here, and this brings <laughs> peace in my life. Weekly church attendance has always been a must <laughs> in my life, so that I can recharge my spiritual batteries and prepare mm. for the next week. Uh, let's see. Absolutely Give love this place. Review. It's the Give right place review. to go. All right, let me see. We got some one stars down here. Yeah, let's see what we want to start. All right. Um, let me see. Church don't come after this. The church? Oh, I did say the name. Um, <laughs> somebody just put appalling. They didn't put appalling. Huh? They just put appalling. Um, no, nah, it ain't a lot of bad reviews. Don't nobody want to give a bad review to church. To the church. <laughs> They probably delete them too. I feel like <laughs> Google. Oh, the church. Are you gonna keep the bad reviews up? You think Sister Claude gonna let you talk about her wig online and just leave it up? <laughs> What's wrong with you? And Sister Clark in there, like delete that. Uh uh-uh. uh. That ain't nothing but the devil. They All probably right. reply to some of them. I'm sorry you yeah, experienced sure. that. Please come back when we have Hallelujah. Matter of fact, you know when you look up food places, like yeah. it's hard to find a four sometimes. I don't see nothing below a 4.7 in churches. Really? Matter of fact, and this is just for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. These are, oh, this is a mega thing, too. I'm going to stop talking about them. <laughs> yeah, that's like a whole denomination. All right, so. All right, cool. Sorry, we got off track. <clears throat> Where we at? You was on spiritual. You wanted to find a community. Oh, yeah. Talking about my spiritual community. Yeah, I was trying to help you find churches. it. <laughs> 
You need a, a swipe. My church don't need a pool or something. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, see, now I want to know what amenities do you want your church to have? It's a pandemic, Lindsay. I don't care. I just want I want the preaching to be good. Okay, so you care about the preaching. You don't care about the singing. I care I about the singing. I don't. I do care about the singing, but I don't put a lot of. Oh, all right, cool. That's, like I'm, I would definitely keep going to a church to listen to a good message ver- and can ignore and the, the singing, singing versus trash? I'm gonna keep going to a church with some mediocre dude. I will stop. I don't care how good that choir is. I will stop. I'm not. <laughs> Listen to the concert. All right, so you, you obviously you care about the preaching. That's yeah, that's your, the that, yeah. Priority. So on your your app, you need to you need a five star on preaching. Got it. I need a good leader of the church. Okay, like he got to deliver a good message, and he has to have a nice balance of uh, theatrics and a message. Like, uh, I, can't, I don't know. See, I don't like the theatrics. I, well, that's why I say balance. I don't either. Mm, but okay. a lot of people do, and a lot of people need it. Yeah, so I understand that. Need, I understand. Yeah, that. I do. I get it. So I need somebody that's like realistic with it. Like every now and then he just throw it just to <laughs> just a let people know. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> Some of y'all been out there on social media. <laughs> All right. Cool. What else you got for, for spiritual? You need to do something for a like a Jesus. <laughs> y'all they're doing it for the likes. Do it for the like a God. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> All right. Spiritual. I want to find a spiritual practice or community by March 2022. Uh, Web or in person and again the why on that I just feel like again my connection is good by myself But it's just different when you got like a community and a place that you do it and a spiritual like guider and leader and things of that nature Um, I want to pray before I eat keep it simple keep it simple stupid. I was doing that every time when I was little I mean, I still kind of do it internally now, but it's more like a little quick blink. I don't like that (laughs) <laughs> like I'm ashamed to pray before hey, I eat or something. He said it could be like a And then I'll be like looking with open my eyes too, like anybody see me praying? Like I don't like that. I need to stop being ashamed about praying for you. Yeah, yeah, pray. Yeah, pray. I used to sure. pray about the little stuff too. Oh, like yeah, I'm about to eat some sunflower seeds. No, I gotta pray first. That's that's dope. I used to be like that. Hey man, every time you if you, and honestly, like what I find out is if I pray more, the people around me pray more. Like you feel guilty if you watch somebody else say grace and you don't say it too. You be like, oh shit. It's, it's not like, saying grace. Somebody passing around germex. You like, no, you don't want none. Like, you don't what? want none. You don't want no germex. You don't want no gun. Everybody can gun. You don't want none. You want your breath to be bad. All right. All right. Cool. And you already did the why, right? Cool. I'm sure. I just. All right. Financial. Food. That's on you. I think. Financial. All right. Type of person I want to be financially. I want to be wealthy. Mm. Um. I want to be the type of person that don't have no, like, real debt, you know? I don't think money is real, but from the numbers game of fake money, I want my stuff to be in the positive. I want to be abundant in, like, in, like, all different areas of, like, money. So I just want it to be abundant. Like, I just want to be able to spend money when I want to. Amen, brother. That's it. Same. Like, I just want to play the game well of life, have the coins that I need to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Go no more, no less. Go for it. What's your goals? Set a budget plan to save for travel and eliminate credit card debt by the end of the year 2022. Boom. So the budget plan needs to be set ASAP so I can start following it. I'll probably get that done within by the end of January. I'll say that. And then I need to be able to follow it so that I can eliminate any credit card debt I have by the end of the year 2022. That is my main goal. My why behind that is I just want to live in the positive, really. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll go negative if it calls for it or if I need to make some risky kind of move. But for the most part, I shouldn't even really be carrying no debt like that. For sure, for sure. I got you. All right, cool. Uh, Financial. So I want to be a – my values, I guess, I want to be a good money manager. I want to be known as somebody who can manage my money well. Um, I want to be a saver and someone who's able to stretch money. And then I want to be prepared. I'm someone who's always preparing for the next or the next wave of money. If I'm dealing in five figures, upper five figures now, I'm preparing for six. If I'm dealing in low six, I'm preparing for, you know, mid sixes, whatever. You know, just so. It's never enough for you, huh? No, just knowing that greater is coming, you know. All right, so some of the goals I have, um, I want to save $5,000 by June. That's very aggressive for me. That's also one of those putting myself in an uncomfortable position. I value stability, and I also value being able to buy whatever I want when I want it. 
And so me saving five thousand dollars in six months. You think if you got five thousand cash, you're not stable? No, I didn't say that. Okay, so you value stability. Yeah, stability in the sense of like, I don't want to have to look at my bank account and be like, "Am I gonna make it this month? Like, am I gonna go in the red?" When the, the last time you was like that, Lindsay? Oh, let's talk. Let's, like, 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 what are we talking about right here? Do I don't mean? want to go back to the pool house. <laughs> hey man, I don't know what you think I got, but I don't got. It. I'm gonna be able to pay the rent, but it's sometimes where I be like, "Dang, whew, I gotta stop. I can't spend no more this month. I gotta eat at home for the rest of the week." Cause my joint looking real slim. Cause you gonna starve if you don't. Not cause I'm a starve, but I mean, fifty dollars only goes so far. So after that fifty dollars, I'm overdraft, and I don't get paid till Friday, and it's Tuesday. You like, blessed, my dog. You blessed. Let's just keep going. You blessed. I am blessed. I agree. All right, cool. Uh, <clears throat> so the reason I want to save five thousand dollars is because I want to be prepared for traveling uh, the second half of the year. Oh, so this is news to me. We got to just sit you now on camera. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going. I'm traveling. I'm trying to brush that over. All right, man. We ain't going to make a big deal of it. I'm going to make going. a big deal. <laughs> All right. My next financial goal. No, nah, man. Don't brush that over. All right, man. Yes. I'm going. I'm claiming it. I'm Why going. Are you saying it with so it's done. I'm, ca- I'm saying it with conviction. Because I'm saying it with unks. Yeah. I didn't mean unks to you just saying it so I can. It's with conviction for, you know, when I stated it, I stated proudly. I appreciate that. For sure. Burritos. <laughs> Ooh, what did I have? I don't know what I had. Sandwich. Don't give it away. Dang. Um, all right. The other thing is I want to abide by budget for three months. I'm not very good at budgeting. I have a budget. I made a budget recently, but I'm not you good at You used to not be I good I used to budgeting. not be good at budgeting. Now I'm on budget. So, um, and I'm doing that to, one, put myself in an uncomfortable position, challenge myself, Nasty. Uh, and two, discipline. Nasty. Is that what you said? All right, cool. Where we at? Social? Social. Social. I'm jumping off social. All right, so I want to participate in four or more LGBTQ plus activities. Way to throw the plus in there. For the the plus. Some type of queer activities. Um, Just to kind of... Just the type of person you want to be? Oh, shoot. My bad. The person I want to be... What is it? Socially? I want to be someone be active queer. <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> I was just confused. Uh, I want to be someone that sets boundaries. I want to basically uh, provide neutrality, which just means uh, in social spaces, I'm a pe- a a neutral space for people where they feel comfortable being themselves and. All that kind of stuff. Um, and then I also want to be someone who is, uh, who, like, I, I want to find my mate. I want to find my partner, my life partner. Okay. Social. Yeah. Um, Oops, still on you. So, yeah. <laughs> that goes back to the four visits of some type of LGBTQ plus event. Um, and that's to put myself out there um, just a little bit more to help find my mate. Um I want to place my phone on Do Not Disturb at least four nights a week. Um, And that's just to promote uh, me having time to myself and setting boundaries for myself and others um, that I don't feel like I need to be accessible to everyone all the time. And I I think I said that's to kind of, again, set boundaries and uh, remove things from my life that aren't pulling me in the right direction. Go. Okay. Social for me, type of person I want to be. So I want to be the type of person that fosters male relationships. And I don't know why I wrote it like that, because it just sounds like strange. <laughs> By that, for me, I have a lot of female friends in my life. I got a lot of homeboys, but they none of them live in Texas. Most of them just from high school, not a lot from college. So again, I want to I wanna be the type that also has male relationships as well. Like. It, uh, I want to be flexible, and I want to be there for my friends in whatever capacity they need. And by that, 
I don't want to be the type of friend where like, oh, you only come to Paris for like one type of thing. Like, I want to be a friend that you can just come to me, whether you want to vent or whether you actually want advice or whether you want to just not talk about something and do something else, think about other stuff. I want to be a better all around friend. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it because I can't really read my hand right in another one. All right, socially, uh, I want to play a sport. Um, so before even, uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just make it more specific cause I got on you. I want to play two, uh, recreational sports, uh, that's not basketball by and complete them oh, two, 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 not leagues. basketball, not basketball. Yeah. Oh, I want to do something like flag football, dodgeball, volleyball. That's that okay. So I want to play two, I like that. two sports, rec sports. Um, Put softball on that hoe. We get on a team. What, we can do whatever. Cause again, yeah, even when we travel somewhere, we play different. Come on, Different sport what? completely. Cricket. Come on. What? Cricket? I'm so I'm going to play two sports this year, two leagues, um, by the end of 2022. And the why behind that, again, is just being more social. I like I like that type of stuff. I want to get back into it. You know, COVID dependent. Uh, I want to set a monthly or a bi-monthly. That's twice a month. <laughs> I want to meet two times a month, uh, max and once a month minimum, whereas maybe we say like, uh, first Thursdays, last Thursdays, second Thursdays, second Tuesdays, whatever we call it, something so that everybody remember when it is. It's an open invite to whoever you know you kind of deem cool. It's, it's, it's cool, it's cool. I don't feel uh, like that. Yeah, just again, a place where we can kick it and just talk about yeah. stuff other than the usual, like where you can actually come and vent and we all can like kind of talk. And then I, I do want to invite like other. Is it going to turn older... into a women bashing session or not? It could. Who cares? Oh, okay. Who cares? Hey. I'm down. It's it's an open place. It's an open place. It's an open whatever place. Whatever happens, happens. You can talk about whatever you want in there. And you were saying you, you wanted to invite older people? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, I, I was hitting at older people, but I just want people that can also like pass wisdom to us as well. So I yeah, want to be sure. a nice mix. I don't want to have to be just like, like you're saying, I wouldn't want it to turn into a women's bashing session. But, right. Um, that's where it goes, whatever. You it get is, a release it out. is what it Pause. is. You don't like say stuff like release. If you can get a vent, vent out. Vent. Release your emotions. All right, you good? You good with social? I'm real good with social. You did why? That's enough. Uh, why? I think uh, us as men need a place to like safe vent. Place. Yeah, it's just a safe place to just discuss our feelings and to get advice. That's really what I want. Like, I want some old dude that's married to talk to us about marriage, like the real way, versus some dude that's been divorced three times to give us like talk. <laughs> like, I want to hear it all. You yeah. still got the bachelor that's. Right. 55, still going to the club every weekend, hear what he talking about. Like, Facts. It's just like, it's networking too. It's all of that. Like, you can meet somebody there and they be like, oh, you need a job? Like, I got you, boy. That's true. All right, cool. We are uh, on to, is it physical? Physical. <coughs> physical. You up. All what right, man. Physical be? type of person I want to be physical is, I want to be an athlete. Oof. Like, I just want to be known. Your boy, athletic. I just want to be known as athletic. So that's kind of the, the easiest way to explain it. Baby Braun out here, baby. Whatever, you know, Just I just want to be me, just be. Just want to be athletic. Like, if we talking about any kind of athletic thing, I want people to just be like. Oh, I bet oh. Paris is good at that. Yeah, Paris like, ah, oh, Paris going to be good at that. Like, All right. Uh, yeah. I'm he's gonna, so athletic. want to be that guy, kind of guy. Um, I want to be comfortable, like a person that just like is comfortable with walking places. Like, oh, we got to walk it. Like, I don't want to be like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. How far is it? Oh my god! Yeah, I'm, can't believe I'm, we have to use I'm our legs. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, again, fit, uh, physically, just type of person I want to be, just comfortable with like, hey, we walk in or we gotta walk. It ain't no big deal. Stairs, we taking the stairs instead of this. You know that type of person. No. Uh, physical goals, I got three. I want to dunk with two hands off vert. Two. I've already had this goal since I was like. 13, just never really worked hard enough to do it. I just never put focus enough in it. I've been, I've had this same goal for probably three years straight. Maybe, nah, man, I had this same goal since I was, like, 14. Never done it. I've gotten super close where I can, like, dunk just bending down with one hand. Mm -hmm. Never done it even, never gotten remotely close with two. So what's off vert? Describe that for us. Off vert is no step. You just going to bend your knees, go straight up, boom, dunk. Two Don't, hands. Two hands, not one. Not one. So I want to be able to do that by the end of the year. Uh, 
I want to be able to do 10 full body pull-ups. Full body, what that mean? So not these little... Not, eh, 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 eh. But you want to... I'm talking... Ah, one. Two. two. Oh, you hear that pop already? Oh. Two. <laughs> and I ain't even got my full body in my hand. I went... That was just three. That three. was two and a half. Three just um, the most. I'm going to do two, 10 full body pull-ups. 10 full body pull-ups. Something got to give. Um... Oh, and I want to learn how to tread water. Tread, that's a good one. Tread That'll save water. your life, you know. I All right. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? Never comes up. Um, why? I just always want to learn how to swim. I kind of, again, I'm like 75% of the way there, just missing a big piece of it. Like, I can get to the other side of the pool, but if I stop, I'm gone. <laughs> uh, pull-ups for the full body. Uh, what's the why for that? The why? I feel like if I can do 10 full body pull-ups, then... My arms and my upper body has to look a certain way. Like, my whole body has to look. I'm either, like, big as shit if I'm pulling my whole body like that or I'm fully, like, kind of toned. So, I just think it's a shredded. certain you look shredded that I should have to be able bulky. to do. Yeah, I just want to have body control. Like, All right, cool. Um, and then the dunk with two hands off. Very, I just had to go too long. I got to do it. You got to do like, it. It's just one of these really? things that I just got to. Some things you just got to do. All right. So, so um, basically... I want to be someone that is conscious of what I put inside my body. Um, that, like, I'm making a conscious decision to do so. If I am doing it and realizing, like, what it is, like, how bad it is for me, how good it is for me, whatever. Um, and then I want to be somebody where my body and my mind are on the same page, where I'm physically able to do all the things that I want to do. Um, and that's not always the case right now. So, mm, alignment. Uh, part of alignment. For sure. I'm glad you got that. It's part Listen. of my line. Um, so my goals is I want to eat vegan at least two days out of the week for like three months. <laughs> In this household? Yeah. Uh so I'll just pick two days to eat clean, probably consecutive days out of each week, uh, for three months. They're like, hey, this I I'm clean today. And just kind of see if it makes a difference. I may do, you know, two on one week, two on the next week all together. So it'll like Match up so I can do four days to see, like, oh, my body did this differently, whatever. We'll see. Um, and then I want to work out at least two days a week um, at 6 a.m. for the rest of the year. I want to keep that going. At least twice a week, I got to get up and do something with my body. So those are my two goals. Now, why I want to do those, um, the eating right uh, is more so for illnesses and disease that is in my family and things that run in my family that I'm, I'm – Stopping right here. I don't want those things. Um, and the working out is just the length of my life. Uh, my heart is a muscle. I want to exercise it just as much as I do my brain. Um, and so my heart and the rest of my muscles, I want to get them, get them working and moving. All right. Uh, we on to the last one, which is intellectual. And I'm going to start this one off. I want to be known as a reader. I want to be somebody like, oh, yeah, Lindsay's a reader. She reads all the time. I want to be that. And, um, I want to be able to educate others without them feeling um, judgment. I want to be able to teach others and they feel good about it um, and be able to receive that as well. I want to be coachable. I want to be a coachable type person. So, And I'll be able to coach others in a good way. So some of my goals for intellectual, uh, or I pick one goal and I'm sticking with it. Is to read ten books this year. Read ten books. Read it ten. Don't matter books. if you got the December first and you got to read ten in one month. It ten books. Matter. Ten books. Ten books. You ain't that easy. Um, and easy. Why I want to do that is it again gets me out of my comfort zone, Ooh, challenges me. Alone, you can do that. I already know. I already know. That's why you can go. Well, this is my go. You're right. Set a boundary and push Thank me you. away. Thank you. But you know I'm, I'm hitting on it. I I hear you. All right, cool. That's all I wanted you to say. Cause you hear me? I ain't, yeah. I'm not telling you to change it. I'm, I'm not you. even trying to convince you to change it. I'm hearing you. Just saying you know you are gonna smash that goal. <laughs> That's good. So no, no, I'm gonna have one in the bucket. It's not uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. What? Why did you go ahead? Please explain that. Why? Is, why is it? Why is it? You said it's. It's something I've never done before. What? Read ten books in a year. Oh, okay. All right, for me, intellectual. Uh, I also want to be known as a reader. Uh, I've never enjoyed reading, really. I've just done it just because that's what people say you're supposed to do. I kind of still do. 
Um, but Same. I would like to, I don't even know if I want to convince myself that I enjoy reading, but I guess I, I would, I would like to convince myself of that, that, that way it's just more of an enjoyable experience. And I'm not gonna lie, the more I do it, the more it does semi get a little therapeutic, you know, makes you feel, you know, helps you wind down or focus. Yeah. Definitely shifts my mind a lot. <laughs> All right. I also want to be a person that adds to conversations. Like okay. I don't want to hop in conversations just talking just to talk. I want to feel like I'm adding value to a conversation. I want people to kind of value my opinion or value when I when I speak. Like people kind of naturally want to listen. Um, and I want people to be interested like in my point of view and stuff. Not necessarily that they agree or disagree with it, but they're just interested in how I view something or think yeah. about it. And I also want to be a storyteller. Like I want to get good at telling stories, not lying, but like literally telling stories, like stories, like old wise men type stuff. Like I want to get good at that, like right now. Like cross your legs and y'all sit down. Let me tell you something. Let me teach you something. Yeah, something let, like that. Let me more let like me learn you something. to the point where it'd be like, like the story about how you train an elephant, or like just stuff yeah. like that. Like I want to be able oh. to just tell stories that like make me like, damn, that was a good little story. Dang, that's crazy. How you train an elephant? That's smart. Like I want to tell stories that are like metaphors. Okay. That, like people like, like small little nuggets that people use for nuggets, the rest of their like, life. Yeah, man. Like, hey, like the take squirrel me. didn't save his money, and then yeah, he was broke. Rome wasn't built in the day. Random stuff like that. Uh, so for my goals for that, I put a read one book a month. Just shit on my go. No, I didn't. I'm By joking. two? I'm joking. I'm By joking. two? Joking. All right. That's funny. What's next? That's it? I was letting it breathe. Oh. All right. <laughs> the why behind that is, um, yeah, I think it just aligns with helping me be a better reader, like trying to get my mind shifted. I learn something new from every book I read. I want to learn how to do a bigger Rubik's Cube. Mm. I already kind of am going crazy with the three by three. It's second nature now. Um, I want to do like a four by four, five by five, eight by eight, something like that. I want to hold some like big boy. Bow, 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 bow. You could do it. I know. I know. I bet. Um, speaking of that, if you go to my page, you can uh, buy how to do a Rubik's cube for a dollar. <laughs> for a dollar. One dollar. Got a PowerPoint presentation. No guarantees, but I guarantee. I guarantee you that PowerPoint can show you. <laughs> now, whether you get it or not, that's on you, brother. That's on you. A video is included. Mm. Video included. A video, a PowerPoint. Bow. You and your friends can split it. If you got 10 friends. They can all send you a dime. Thank you, Lindsay. I'll send you a dime. Y'all can email that PowerPoint all around. <laughs> and you too can have this. <laughs> and guess what? I got a deal going on. Five for five. Five for if you, five. If you buy it right now. If five. you buy five PowerPoints, you get it for $5. You get the fifth one free. You get the fifth one free? The fifth one free. Four for five. No, it's still five, five, five. Five, for, five for five. Five for five. Five for five. Okay. All right. Matter of fact, <laughs> four for five. Four for five, you get the fifth one free. <laughs> four Just because you did it, Lindsay. Just because you did it. You get four for five. Now you get the fifth Today one. only. Today only. And the fifth one's free. Dang, that's a good deal. I need, if I didn't already have it, I would buy it. So you actually getting five for the price of four plus one. Mm. That's good. Just today only. Today only. Y'all better get that. I'm telling you, it seems super impressive when you can solve a Rubik's Cube in the airport uh, in front of somebody, random badass kids. They be oh, impressed. Man. Flight attendants. Oh, they love it. They eat that shit up. All of them. Oh, and then as soon as you pull one out, everybody's like, oh, you can't do that. Oh, my God. You solved it. It's no way. You solved it in like a minute and a half. What? The I've fuck? never been able to do that. Yeah. You know, just talk just about, a little talk dedication. A little bit. You know, so just to flex a little bit, like. I'm not going to lie, during, that was one of my pandemic hobbies. <laughs> and now I can proudly say that I want to be the change I see in others. And I want to pull my squad up out the barrel, too. <laughs> so all my people around me know how to do a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> we was in the barrels. No PowerPoint. Look, don't take away from this right now. No PowerPoint needed. <laughs> no PowerPoint necessary, no, baby. Not, and, and let me tell you, that was a, <laughs> a good practice for me just as much as it was for them. Because these niggas complained at first, like, I can't, oh my, I can't learn how to do that. Oh my God, what? Without the PowerPoint? No, it, I just wanted to solve it. I can't learn how to do it without the PowerPoint. I, 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 I. All of them know how to do it now. No PowerPoint. Yeah. Easy money. My only thing was like, do I know, you, I, don't, I don't see the need. Why do I need to take the time <laughs> to learn this? This is a way, we know, Lindsay, you don't want to waste your time. We know, we know. <laughs> All right, cool, as long as you know. 
Sounds good. All right, cool. So again, uh, that's our goals for 2022. Definitely recommend anybody out there to use this tactic. No, 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 no. Hold on. Before we close this out, just one more thing. All right, cool. Really, two. All right, we already kind of said the whys. One of my ass, uh, we 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 got this on video. We can do a midpoint. Yeah, yeah. Probably in like we probably could do one in three months. Really, I say end of March we do a check in. Last thing I just wondered with that is just because I want people to kind of get into that too is like getting accountability partners. And lastly, as your accountability partner and just for us in general, I need to know how you tracking all of these. How are we tracking it? Yeah, so we definitely will will talk about the tracking methods for each each of these. I think we talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, but I'll get I'll get them all down, and we'll we'll. I'm down. Talk. Uh, so next time we talk, we can definitely show for sure. progress reports and kind of how we tracking it and what systems work best for us for individually sure, sure. and kind of together. I got yeah. some expo markers. I think I'm writing on the mirror for some stuff. I'm, I'm definitely that. think I'm just gonna be basic with two. I'm going to do a computer calendar and probably just like a, a physical yeah. calendar and just probably have, I don't know, five marks, seven marks, whatever, whatever the marks are for when I did what I wanted to do. And then I can just translate it. But again, we can talk about it next time. For sure, for sure. All right. We got anything? Nah, man. I'm I'm good. Uh, I think these are some very nice, hefty goals. goals. I will say I'm ecstatic and I'm holding you accountable to it. Nah, I ain't going to put that much pressure on you. I'm glad that you have decided yeah, right yeah, now yeah, yeah. to go. For sure. For sure. I'm not going to speak any kind of anxiousness on your decision. Yeah. Hold, you know, we're going to figure it out. Hey, and, and this is not on here. This is the last thing, last thing I got. Um, it's like a church play. Every I time know. you get towards the end, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> let me get one more announcement in here. Uh, Zen Trap, man. I'm, that's a goal. It's, it's already in action. I know. Here. I know. And that was That's like, crazy. I was like, almost like I can make this a whole category by itself just because I'm really ready to pour into it, excited about it. Uh, we got daily goals. We got weekly goals, things that we doing every week and every day uh, to better ourselves, to get a better podcast. So overall, this thing is moving and th- that this jumping off the ground and really impacting people and reaching out and blessing people. Hopefully uh, that's what it does. That's that's the goal for me is impact for real. so. Oh. <laughs> you still in what you call stuff? He gonna be on your head, Who? boy. You all on this be impactful stuff? He gonna be on your head. Who is being impactful? Oh, you talking about uh, what you call? Yeah. No, I'm. I'm just saying impact. I want to make you impact. call him stuff bar for bar. I ain't grow stuff bar for bar word, word for, for word. word. You literally might have read his business plan on purpose right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to leave an impact. You might have literally said his whole joint, not even knowing it subconsciously. So Maybe. I doubt it. All right, I might pull it up, but it's cool. No, I, I, please do. I doubt it. It's not a big deal if you did. I was no, just it's not. It it's not. Just saying, you know. Leave your impact. For sure. But yeah, that's all I got. You good? I'm we good. Signing off. Sign off. We signing off. PYP, PYE.